You are listening to bangradio.net. Man, the, the only reason why I can talk to anybody about dealing with hate is because I'll go through it or anger or insecurity or fear of failure because it's such a massive part of my life that will control me if I don't take care of it on a daily basis. And I fail at that so many times. And I think that that's... I think that that's looked over. I think like in the commodification of self-help and all this sort of shit, people get into like mastery and how do we solve the problem? How do we fix it once and for all? What what is your take on that? I think that if you can't, if you still think, if God came into the room and said, you've plateaued, you're not going to evolve one more millimeter, you're not going to be one more cent freer, nothing. Could you still love yourself 100%? If the answer is no, you've got a problem. Enlightenment, as far as I see it, you know, Enlightenment isn't about putting in your hours of meditation, although that is, you know, helpful because you can see, you know, what a twat you are. But <laughs> enlightenment <coughs> is loving yourself as the twisted, wounded freak that you are today, with no, with no attachment to improvement. If you can be affectionate and loving every time you fuck up, and going, oh, you doing it again? You know, be find yourself cute. Like I always say, this path is a rodeo horse covered in Vaseline. You're going to be on your ass. A thousand times a day, you have to start finding it funny. Um, so, if you're not finding it funny, if you're not just totally like hopeless about any kind of evolution, then you're really making a stick for your own back. You're a slave driver. Pema Chodron, one of the greatest teachers ever, Pema Chodron, who's a, a student of um, Chogyam Trumpa Rinpoche, um, Tibetan Buddhist, she's great about this. You know, don't give up all hope, all ye who enter here. Give up all hope of evolution. Just love yourself as the twisted, wounded freak you are today. That's the only thing you need to do. Every time you catch yourself failing, <clears throat> instead of going, oh, did it again, giving yourself a little electric shock of violence, find it cute. Be the laughing policeman. You still notice the shit. You still catch the thing, but you laugh. Every time you catch yourself, you laugh. There I go again. Like Hafiz, the poet, he said, me and God have become like two fat old men in a boat. We keep bumping into each other and laughing. Find the whole thing funny because you don't know how fast you're going to evolve or how fast life is going to give you some heavy crisis that pushes you through something big. You just don't know. You don't really, unless you find it exciting, making yourself evolve is a very violent business. So, yeah, I'm just trying to be aware, not trying to evolve. I'm just trying to be present. That would be, you know, if I'm trying to do anything... My excitement is to be as present as possible, not spacing out, not thinking about my laundry when I'm doing, you know, be, be present doing whatever I'm doing in the present moment, not being too future-oriented. <clears throat> when I get future-oriented, <clears throat> I get, like, paranoid about being abandoned, paranoid about poverty, paranoid about... When I'm past-oriented, well, I'm not very past-oriented, I don't quite get that. But when I'm right here and now, essentially, things are generally okay just like even when i'm feeling depressed if i felt i had to deal with the mountain of my whole depression all at once i wouldn't be able to do it but can i just deal with this one wave of depression in this moment yes this is the greatest advice i'm going to finish off now because i've got a dash but the greatest advice you ever give to a woman uh, in labor who's having a baby you don't have to deal with all 59 contractions right now you just have to deal with them one at a time can i deal with this wave and it's not just about giving birth. It's about anything that's challenging. Even the heaviest challenging stuff, it comes in waves. Maybe your partner's just left you for someone else, you know, one of the really heavy, hard things. The waves of agony around that, they're only one at a time. So if you're really in trouble around something that's really troubling you, just deal with this wave in this minute. We only have to deal with this minute. We don't have to deal with the wave that's coming in an hour or the one that's coming even in three minutes. Just deal with this wave now. Come to the breath. Come back to this wave now, one at a time. You can almost get through anything. 